this is the chronically ill challenge so essentially what i'm doing today is designing a chronically ill sim i've already got things set up i'm moving them into a flat because they're going to be living on their own and i figured a lot of chronically ill people um live in flats because they can't own homes they can't afford homes so but here we go we're gonna start so i always start making a sim by randomizing until i see a starter face that i want to work with because you've got to have a good base i can't bother to work with something that isn't a good base i mean quite a few of these have been good bases so far i just feel like i'm going to be a bit picky tonight I'll tell you what i should have been more picky with was my food this evening the indigestion is real I'm supposed to be on a special diet right now, but I'm not feeling very great today, so I decided to have pasta, and that was a very bad idea, guys. So yeah, so I did actually hop onto this and get ready, and I designed the person who lives next door to her. So her home, I'm going to say that she doesn't own it, it's a flat that she's renting, but the lady that lives next door to her, I'm going to say owns her flat and lives in it. So I went full on crazy with the design of that place. I really enjoyed it. We'll get her to go visit and you guys can see for yourself. I want to give her an easy hair. So I keep it chill. I want to keep it relaxed. I literally, all I've done is do this to my hair earlier today and it almost destroyed me. Literally just tying this up. I really, I don't know if any other chronically ill people could get this, but my arms are so weak. If my hairstyle doesn't work out in like the first go, if I'm not having a really good day, that's it i might as well just give up and just throw my hair up into the messiest stupidest little bun because it's just not gonna happen for me so I'll, I'll tell you guys now just for some context so my plan for her is to have three outfits one's gonna be her comfortable but nice outfit one of them's gonna be her nicer normaler outfit for her really good days and then one's gonna be what i've described as her trash panda outfit the other thing is i'm gonna get her a maid and i'm gonna say that that's her carer that comes in to help her out this is definitely an easy haircut. I considered getting a... I forgot what this is called again. I'm so bad at remembering like names of things, guys. Honestly, it's like a classic thing for me. When I'm hanging out with people, I'm like, what's this called again? Undercut. I knew Kat would know. But yeah, I was going to get one of these. So back when I first became chronically ill, I realised that I couldn't take care of my hair anymore. If you guys ever saw pictures of me back then, my hair used to be like this. Like it was so like, and it was from it being so bad. Like I couldn't put a hairbrush through it. It was awful. So I either wanted to cut my hair short or do this undercut. On the plus side, guys, I do feel like digestion is occurring and food is going down. I did. So I recently went to the is, um, not, yes, is nose and throat doctor, ENT, is nose and throat, yeah. And she diagnosed me with a very, very bad stomach acid issue. And she told me to start using Gaviscon Advance. And I'm not going to lie, it has changed my life. If you guys have indigestion, I cannot recommend it enough. Like, life changing. I'm just going to stick this for now, but put in the chat if you absolutely despise it and we'll do what we can do. I don't know if anyone else who has chronic pain gets this, but when I start drinking, I start like my pain and stiffness goes away and I always find that like I'll start drinking and I'll be enjoying myself and then suddenly I'll get like a cramp somewhere and I'll be like oh better have another drink so I don't feel that and then I'll get another symptom I'll be like but I basically keep drinking until I can't feel my symptoms anymore and when I'm drunk it's like the only time or like tipsy there's like a right level it's the only time where I feel normal again like I feel like I was when I was healthy and when you're in pain all the time every day you get very used to it like i'm in a lot of pain right now if i told you guys all the places i'm in pain and i don't think i come across like i'm in pain right now back in my early days i would have been bitching and moaning about it non-stop and who can blame me it's not a fun time but it yeah it's not fun and when i get into social situations i often do end up drinking because i want to have fun i don't want to be just sat there quiet dealing with all this pain and stiffness these horrible symptoms i'm pretty used to it um it's just that yeah i do have a great time when i drink i am vibing the fact that she has body hair because i have a lot of body hair <laughs> shaving is so hard i remember not that long ago i tried to shave my legs and i shaved one leg and then i went i can't do this anymore i ran out of spoons and so i just walked around with one shaved leg and that was just how it was the other thing that i wanted to do is i wanted to give her tattoos and this is because so people that are in chronic pain often have a really high pain tolerance because they're just used to being in pain. 
and I know a lot of people that have chronic illnesses get tattoos in order to like reclaim their body so like you could often end up feeling like your body isn't your own anymore your body's betrayed you or be really disconnected with your body when it's doing symptoms but I'm gonna give her a cat tattoo because I like cats that that's pretty much what I'm going for then and then I might give her an ankle tattoo as well like I'm gonna keep it a bit simple oh talking about things that make us angry I want you guys to meet my emotional support rabbit rabbit <laughs> really got to me ah. frog this is a frog nor a rabbit just in case you guys didn't realize um his name is um Riberty Fitzherbert Dr. Riberty Fitzherbert in fact and uh my thing with him is that he's the only doctor I trust <laughs> so we want to go for the semi nice look that's going to be the day one so it's going to be relaxed so what I'm thinking and this is what I did the other day when I was looking is I'm thinking baggy pants and there was a particular ones that I really I just looked at them and I thought those look really comfortable these they look like they would stretch so much and I get really bloated because of my digestion issues so having trousers that can fit me at whatever like time of day it is and however bloated I am is really important and these just look so comfortable to me but still nice and then I know I remember the exact outfit I made the other day actually I might just go with that outfit because I thought it was a sweet idea you guys might disagree with me this so what I thought is that this looks nice but it's also comfortable and hypothetically I don't know if anyone else chronic ill does this I don't unbutton my shirt because doing buttons up is also just to make this very clear guys I'm going to be saying a lot of things like generalizing chronically ill people i don't want to do that but i am making a sim that's supposed to be based on chronically ill and i can't really do that without making some sort of generalizations but obviously chronically ill people vary hugely the amount of conditions that you can have the amount of issues that you can have are gonna be crazy different so i really like this top i was thinking of this top because it looks super super comfy and cozy it's so pretty like i love it so much and i am gonna put her in jeans for this one i feel like this is a bit of a controversial one because a lot of chronically ill people despise jeans but here's a funny story about me i always wear jeans uh, even when like other people are wearing joggers and we're just hanging out and chilling like i'm going to like you know like one of my closest friends house and they do not care about what i look like i wear jeans and that's because of the adhd it's because it's the same way that like ADHD people, if you don't take your shoes off when you come at home, you're more likely to get things done. It's a similar thing of when I'm wearing like proper jeans instead of comfy trousers, I'm way more likely to do things and get things done. Like I just am, like it almost tricks. I always describe my brain as being like run by a group of squirrels and I've got to like do tricks. To, like trick the squirrels and then the other thing that i do is i always bring my um keys out with me even if my partner's like don't worry i've got my keys i always bring them out with me because if i forget them even once my brain will just be like we don't need keys anymore remove from brain circuitry and i'll never remember them again so let's go for the trash panda right i really wanted to do these joggers because i feel like these joggers look like they're a really nice material i don't know if anyone else gets this but i just feel like i would really like these joggers and then obviously it's got to be a t-shirt. I'm gonna say click on t-shirts. Some of the things they say are t-shirts, like, mm, yes, very t-shirt, not, not cropped long sleeve top. <laughs> they crap me up. Okay, super, super comfy clothes. Oh, let's remove this again. Um, so, but she still needs to be able to like leave the house in this. I mean, hypothetically, this would be how I'm too ill to leave the house look, but she will wander out the house wearing this i'll just go for really like fancy flat those are just straight up slippers and then why are they shiny right i'm not liking any of these maybe a nice sandal but one that looks comfortable and not an in between the toe one mm. maybe it'll be loafers again we could go for these that we didn't use last time okay party outfit i want to put on a skirt because she hasn't been in a skirt yet so let's do a skirt this skirt i stand the skirt i will always stand the skirt 
I love the skirt so much. Oh, I kind of like that blue. Let's stick with that for now and then just pick a top and then we can adjust the color. See, this also looks super comfortable and you can like hide your bra straps under this. I know this outfit is so cute. I was talking at the time, but as soon as I put that top with it, I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and this is such a great like winter one as well, because obviously it's got the longer sleeves and you could wear those thick fleece lane, fleece lane. Fleece lined, I don't know what accent that was that came out then, but it was not British. But, um, you can wear the fleece lined ones that look like uh, their normal type. And then you know your bitch has got sensitive skin because who would I be without sensitive skin? So I'm gonna put a ridiculous amount of suntan lotion on her because yeah, she's gotta look, get that face looking fresh. Right, we've moved on very fast. Some outfits, I always love some outfits. We're gonna give her sunglasses because I go out with sunglasses on all year round. I am so sensitive to light. It burns my eyes. Get Fitzherbert. What do you think, Dr. Fitzherbert? Do you approve? That is, that is the, the, you are, yours is the only opinion that matters to me. Oh, these look really comfy as well. They look like they've got like a little bit extra padding than the normal ones. Okay, so I did think about this. Um, so... I say I thought about this and now I'm like, I'm going to have loyal because I love the symbol. Oh no, we have to change that voice. I see, I almost want to go from for lazy, not because chronically all people are lazy, because that would be offensive, like, and completely not true, but because you get moodlets from like relaxing and napping and watching TV and being on comfortable furniture. And yeah, you become fatigued more quickly. Do you know what? I feel like that would match gameplay wise. So please ignore the name of this because that is so bad. I'm cringing internally at the fact that I'm having to put this down, but I just feel like it's best for the gameplay. A bookworm. I feel like a lot of chronically ill people are into books. The wellness aspiration. <laughs> is that because she wants to be well? Or is that because she likes to go to spas and things to have, you know, relax her muscles and stuff? Oh, there's three of them. Okay, self care specialist. Okay. Oh, monetizing wellness. I mean, Mm, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to make her an at-home job, like a writer or something. In a peace, true harmony. To share the mastery of wellness with the world and train. Oh, let's go with in a peace. Oh, because we're always told to do yoga and stuff. Yeah, I know. I've literally been told to do yoga, but mostly Tai Chi. To be honest, that was the main, the main takeaway from that. It's, tai Chi is really good for fibromyalgia. Apparently, you just got to try and move a little bit, like. Because I find if I don't move for like, so for example, I've been lying down this entire time. When I get up, I'm going to really struggle to get up. So if I don't move, my stiffness and my pain gets worse. But if I move too much, my stiffness and my pain gets worse. So usually I get up like every like hour or so just to sort of like move and stretch. Okay. All right. What do we think? It doesn't matter because I'm doing it. So here are the two flats. I have already made her friend, who is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Not chronically ill. She's just vibing. And I designed this home. I made it, as you can see, like I said, I like rich colours and gold accents. So her home is quite red and her, all her clothes are red. Um, and then this, I sorted this out earlier. So what I did, I stripped it down to what would likely be there when you first moved into a flat. So it's just kitchen and bathroom. Um, there's nothing else in there. And I changed it a little bit because I hated the flooring and kitchen and bathroom that was already in there. So I've just put in this basic little kitchen here and then the bathroom, just another just basic thing going on. So I'm going to go visit this apartment because I want to show you guys um, something. This is something I prepared earlier. So this is my sim I made earlier. Uh, what is her name again? <laughs> Alexis Price. Alexia Price. My bad. Alexia Price. Um, she is stunning. Gorgeous. A a person so i love making kitchens with gold accents i love this stuff 
Like I absolutely love it and that's why I made our home is I knew the next home I'd have to have something that looked like it would actually be in a flat like generically whereas you wouldn't see something like this unless you've got like some crazy landlord who actually it really gets into the interior design of their flats that they rent. Uh, yeah, little living room space here. Love this boy. Love him for the gold. Yeah, little details going on here. And then this was a children's room, which is now her little office. It's just small, so there's not a lot going on. Um, but she can get things going on. And then her bedroom, I think, is such a vibe. I love it. I love this bed so much. I love using these for the gold accents as well um yeah and then i put a little painting on top that's also got some goldiness to it so i think maybe we should do the base like if i at least get the main furniture and like desk computer bed wardrobe um somewhere to eat food and you know sofa tv like base we can do all the details another day maybe this one i feel like this one looks the most comfortable look at that wide back you know what i'm saying I haven't really thought about the vibe I want to have this place. I just want it to be safe and cosy and not like a lot of the builds that I do at the moment are very clean. See, this is all good. This is this is good stuff for the bedroom to clutter it up a little bit, you know? It's just awkwardly put it in the middle of the room. I'm guessing other people do this where they just find stuff that they want and they're like, let's just shove it into the middle of the room. And when I come back to do that, I can do it then. Oh, this little craft thing. I have all my craft stuff around my coffee table, so I stand that, and it matches, look at this thing. Oh, I've made it match. I also love this rug, and it kind of goes with the whole thing. Oh, oh, let's get as close as we can. Oh, oh we moved it a tiny bit. I forgot what chairs were called. That, that's how you know I'm getting tired. I forgot what chairs were called. But I think I need to pick something that looks really comfortable. I feel like that needs to be the priority right now above anything else. So I'm going to go with these chairs. And I'm going to leave it blank for now, even though it hurts, like pains me physically to leave it blank. Right, because this is such a small room, I'm going to use this layered desk. Fan favourite. I love the chairs that they introduced with the high school years pack so much Wait, I, I really like the purple one and this yellow one but i'm gonna go with the yellow one make it fun and happy and friendly okay we've got to go for the comfiest looking bed which to me i always feel like this one looks really comfortable i don't know why but yeah i don't know i don't know why that is the other one that i think looks really comfortable is this one and then I also do think that this one looks quite comfortable, but I'm just not vibing it for this place. Okay, and then our bedside tables, I'm gonna make them a little chaotic. My bedside table is actually really not chaotic, which is really surprising for an ADHD person. But yeah, it's literally just got a light on it and an air purifier on it and a fan, that is it. But it never used to be like that. I used to have the most chaotic bedside table, but now I leave it bare because I carry a bunch of things around with me. I always have painkillers on me. I always have pain, what, that I was hitting myself. I always have painkillers on me. I always have my inhaler on me. I always have my lip solve on me. I always have a big old bottle of water. Um, I always have some tissue, which is in one of my pockets right now. And basically every single night, it's clear all day. And then every single night, I dump all my crap for overnight on it. So that's why it looks clear all the time. It's because it's making way for my general crap. So I said I wasn't going to do details, but I am just going to maybe put a painting if I can find one maybe this one because it's blue and it's got the light cream yeah so I'm giving them uh, uh, I'm giving her chaos uh, side tables because yeah because uh, yeah a lot of um, chronic ill people are not going to have the energy to tidy up they will just have things on there I just have to do it this way because that's what works for me okay I hope you enjoy your new home. It's not finished because it doesn't have a thousand plants. At the moment, I actually hate this place, but that's because it doesn't have any details whatsoever. Like, that's going to drive me mad. But I have been going for two and a half hours now. So, guys, I will be finishing up very soon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much to everyone who followed. It is very, very much appreciated.